So our topic of the week is the top four gaming products that should be released by the end of the year. Q intro. What's special about the um, the Xbox that's coming out this year? It's just quicker, faster, newer. You know, it's all going to come down to what game developers develop for it. But at the end of the day, the both the new consoles are glorified PCs in a PlayStation or Xbox shell. So they have, have they put out any specific spec specifications yet for the Xbox? Yes, they have. And what, um, what would those be? Sorry, I'm just trying to be more. In, 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 you don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Do you know or not? I thought you this knew. is why we need a proper fucking camera, because if you say shit like that, I'll be I'll be like, okay, give me a minute. I don't have to move. Oh yeah. We can keep recording. I can fucking look it up and then regurgitate it. We'll look look it up and then we'll just keep going. Like really? No. What's significant about the Xbox? What's special about it? I mean, apart from them doing more with their cloud services and the uh, making it quicker. Mm -hmm. So the one thing that they've went on about is the fact that the new consoles will both have NVMe 2s. So the storage is a lot quicker, which means load screens will be less of yeah. an issue. But apart from that, you're talking about what are developers going to be able to achieve on the new consoles. Anything else uh, in regards to the Xbox that we're, we should be looking forward to? I mean, the problem about t discussing the two consoles is that they're both the same. Yeah. You got to talk about them in the same level of which one's going to be more exclusive, yeah. which one's going to gonna be better for the community for gaming and which one isn't. So you look at it and I go, Game Pass was about the only good thing that came out of the Xbox generation this time around. You paid a monthly fee, you got loads of games you can install and play. PlayStation tried it with PlayStation Now, it just wasn't as good. Like, if they perfect that and get that to be just as good as Game Pass, they could compete. But at the minute, I don't see it. I don't yeah, see them yeah. competing at that level. Well, don't, doesn't PlayStation know have that PlayStation Plus? PlayStation Plus is the Xbox Game pa uh, uh, Gold. Yeah, okay. It's just their payment service for going to online gaming. Yeah, It's just Xbox did the right thing and included it with your Game Pass. Yeah. You pay for Game Pass, you also get Xbox Live. Was there any, any announcement of any kind of uh, like game that comes with the Xbox or is it just going to be the Xbox? They haven't announced it yet because we were obviously looking at, oh, what game's going to come with the Xbox? Yeah. I have no idea yet. Okay. You just don't know. Yeah. I mean... Again, to go back to, you've got to discuss both at the same time, is the PlayStation is going to come down to God of War, Spider-Man, and Horizon Zero Dawn. But then everything's going to change with that because they've now brought Horizon Zero Dawn to the PC. So Sony's now going towards starting to go, oh, we're going to, we're going to start developing games for both PlayStation and the PC. Yeah. So then what we're going to get is, yes, it, it's good to own one or the other, but is it going to force people like myself having to get both because of the exclusive games that I wanted to play? Like, personally, I would want both. If I had enough money, I'd buy both in a heartbeat and I'd basically drive both and see which one's better. I did it with the Xbox One X and the PlayStation 4 Pro. Mm -hmm. And if I'm being honest, the Xbox One X was a smoother experience in terms of the interface. I liked the interface on that. But the PlayStation 4 Pro had better games. From a gamer point of view, the PlayStation 4 Pro knocked Xbox One out of the competition because mm -hmm. it just had better games and was just a better gamer experience. The Xbox was just better if you wanted to drive it as an all-day family device. Movies, um, TV shows, watching it as a, as a device, as a media share device. Yeah having it that it didn't have to take up a HDMI slot because you had a HDMI out slot. Brilliant. But then where PS PlayStation had won over because it was a gaming console was that they actually did PSVR. So PlayStation has a leg up because they actually did VR. Yeah. So I guess that would bring us to our third pick would be or our third option here. And that's the PlayStation 
coming up as well. Is, is there a bit of release date for either that one or the Xbox yet? Officially? Not officially, no. Unofficially? Uh, probably towards the end of the year, uh, towards the end of uh, November, start of December for Christmas. Yeah. That Christmas rush, I suppose. Mm -hmm. Is there anything special about the PlayStation? Um, I mean, other than this, this new appearance? And... It, pretty much, I would say the only thing that they've done that's a bit new is that they've went on about how they've put vibration into their controller. So to explain this one, PlayStation 3 released with a controller that didn't vibrate. And this was because a company who created the technology behind it wanted their royalty on the technology that was being used by both Xbox and Sony. Yeah. Microsoft paid. Sony didn't. Sony decided to not and removed it from the PlayStation 3 controllers to their detriment. PlayStation 4 came out, they, they basically paid um, and PlayStation 4 had it and PlayStation 4 had the touchpad. So they did something new with their controller. Yeah. So they're doing something new with their controller again by making the body a bit more sleeker in its design with its diagonal look rather than its straight facing look. Yeah. Um, it's got white on black as its default instead of just black. And then uh, they're spouting that it's got X amount of vibration, hap nick, whatever the word is, um, feedback when you're playing games. Yeah. So you should be able to feel it better than the Xbox controller that they have decided not to change. So if we're, on, if we're talking PlayStation and Xbox, and you, and you said that um, it would be wise for, well, if you can do it, afford, get both. What if you're in the boat to have to choose? Where would you, where would you separate the two and say, I would definitely have an Xbox versus a PlayStation this Christmas? A lot of interaction of gaming has to do with multiplayer. So you have to look at what your friends are getting. You can't just make a decision on a whim of, oh, I'm gonna gonna get a PlayStation. But what if your what if your friends all get Xboxes? Yeah. It means you then can't interact with your friendship group. So it's a very difficult question. But if I just take it on the spec alone and how PlayStation and Xbox both performed this generation, I would say for games in terms of the quality, PlayStation Five would be my yeah recommendation if you will however for a parent buying a console for a kid who perhaps doesn't want to spend 40 50 60 quid every month for a new game i would say the xbox series x and then buying them game pass yeah would be a better option for the parent pure and simply because you just tell the kid you have that library of games go fill your boots yeah Yes, okay, they won't get to play the new games, but that could be good for the kid because a lot of the new, new games anyway are rated over their age anyway. So as a gamer, if you're a single gamer, not as in either you're buying it for yourself and you're over the age of 18 and you make your own money, I'd recommend the PlayStation. But if you're buying it for someone else who isn't earning their own money, I would recommend the Xbox. All right, so our next uh, our next deal is graphics cards coming up for. I mean, you could be a little bit more excited about the graphics cards coming out. I well, mean... I would be excited about the graphics cards coming out if they weren't going to come out and chop my 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 wallet in half. But the problem is, right, okay, so obviously Nvidia have announced their new G RTX thirty ninety, thirty eighty, and thirty seventy. Well, how much is the thirty ninety again? The 3090, before you have a rant about it, is releasing as a direct replacement for the Titan cards. The Titan cards were always around 1500 to two grand. <coughs> so the, 30, the 3090 coming out with a price point of 1600 is actually the same price as what the Titan cards would cost. It's just an upgraded card. It's because they've put the 90 there, making everyone think, oh, but I want the higher well, what's, one the series. What's the difference in, in what the, the, the 3080 and the 3090 can do, performance-wise? Well, the, the 3080 is the direct replacement of the 2080, the direct replacement of the 1080. Yeah. So all of those lines have a set amount of cubic cores, clock speeds, and et cetera, and the RAM that they yeah. have. It just depends what card you get. But the whole idea of it is supposed to be 
that the 39th day is for the people that want to have the best of the best. That's what the Titan cards were. The 3080 are the ones who want to have extreme gaming, but doesn't have the money to thing. That's why the price difference between the 3090 and the 3080 is so big. One's 1600, one is 700. The top thing that I'm most excited for, which hasn't been officially announced yet. However, they have just discontinued the Oculus Quest. Yeah. So we're expecting them to announce the Oculus Quest 2. Bruh. Um, and the reason why I bring it up is that all VR headsets had, they basically said, have to be 90 frames per second per eye. Otherwise, motion sickness can happen because yeah. the lenses are this close to your face. Yeah. Yeah. They basically said that it has to be at 90 frames per second. Otherwise, there is motion blur and everything like that. But then Quest came along and lowered it to 72. Hmm. And I have to say, it's one of the best headsets I've used out of all the ones I've tried. So there is that where they have lowered it. And you're right, there is a certain amount of frames that we don't perceive. And if I'm, But if I'm being honest about it, if you're playing a game at 250 FPS and someone's playing at, at 80 FPS, you're not going to see a difference. However, you will have difference of reaction time of clicks and firing. But then that there's so much more to that. There, it's it's not just right. the frames per how second. Much, it's your reaction speed. Yeah. How, how much coffee has that internet. person had? How much alcohol has that person had? How much did he get some sleep? Is he is he fully rested? But there's it's so also other... your internet speed as well. Yeah. I mean, it's also what what. Your game's running on is, is it on an SSD? Is it on a hard drive? Because there's slight delays in that as well. Yeah, I mean, but the so, biggest, I think the biggest for me, as long as I can play any of my games above 80 frames per second, I'm happy. And the reason why I say above 80 is because when you go from console gaming, which is along the lines of between 42 frames per second to 58, which is what this gen was. When you go to PC gaming and I'm getting my 90 frames to 100, there is a fast difference of me standing on one spot and spinning i can make out everything that i can see in that game when i spin can't do that on console so i'm hoping the next gen consoles allow you to do allows you to do that yeah well have they put anything official to what they can do yet uh nothing that i would believe right in the face of it because obviously with what happened with watchdogs what has happened to halo infinite i don't i don't know if i can trust what the sources are saying yeah but to bring it obviously back to our last um, thing and why I'm so excited is the rumors behind what they have, the reasons why they're doing this is that the development team got to a point where they were adding this and adding that, this being hand tracking and the quest link, which got an improvement from you have to have this specific table to cable to you can use any cable you want, but they've gone to a point where there's a hardware limitation and they want to improve it. Yeah. And that's why there was discussion of them doing another one, even if it's only slight improvements. If the headset has the following two improvements, I'm getting it. And that is a slightly higher frame rate, just so the image quality is a little bit better. Because even though it is the best one that I've used, it is not the best screen that I've seen. I've put the um, the Vive Cosmos on and it has a better looking screen. It just doesn't feel so comfortable and it isn't it isn't as well optimized as the Quest. Right. So if they it did that and increased the battery life two times. So instead of the two hours that I get right now, if they put that to four hours, if not six, oh, perfect. So the, what do you think... Um... Price wise, they should probably go with this new same price. Literally sixty four gigabit version, one hundred twenty eight gig gigabit version. The sixty four being four hundred, the one hundred twenty eight being five hundred. I hope you enjoyed our talk on the top four products that we're excited to see by the end of the year. Obviously, to recap, we are looking forward to the new consoles of the Xbox Series X and the PlayStation Five. The graphics cards is an interesting one. I think the price point's a bit high, but it's not really changed. So I'll probably end up getting myself a 3080. And then obviously if the price point for the Oculus Quest 2 is the same, 
and they give me the upgrades that I've discussed in this video, I would automatically be getting it as well. He'll be buying me one of those Avis cards too, just so you know. No, that's not happening. However, his <laughs> nephew will probably get my Oculus Quest. Um, so, yeah, thanks for watching. If you'd like to leave a comment below on what you're looking for to the yeah. uh, nah, end of the year, great. Give us a like, subscribe. Thank you for watching. All right. Thanks for watching. If you liked our video, give us a like and smash that subscribe button. For more videos, click to the left. Bye.